Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And yet another look at one of the new hulls in Alpha 12. And this time it is the fast battleship that I'm going to be looking at. And I've got one Austria Hungary. Um, but this is also available for Russia, Spain, and Italy as well. Um, and this is the latest tech I've gone so far with Alpha 12. So let's get into the designing. Again, this is being streamed live on Twitch. Um, and uh, it's not there. <laughs> it says it's 1935 plus. Is it 1936? You get it? No. Maybe Austria doesn't get it. It says Italy gets it as well. Fast battleship. Nope. Spain's supposed to get it as well. Could be that the date is wrong. Nope. Or uh, Russia, fast battleship, that's what I'm looking for. Might not be called fast battleship, of course. Might be called something else. So let's go back to Austria-Hungary. Because, no, that's their new modern battleship. They get from 1929. Let's, let's quickly have a look with the unlock. See if we can spot it. Supers, moderns, uh, it's not there. Okay. Well, apologies. Um, let's do the Austro-Hungarian uh, let's do the Austro-Hungarian modern battleship then, which is available from 1929. But uh, I'm going to go 1930, because I'm pretty sure that gives me access to diesel engines. Actually, no, it doesn't. 1930... Let's go 1935, then. So I can try out the diesels, because I haven't looked at uh, diesels yet. Not yet. Oh, it's a battle cruiser. It's a battle cruiser. Oh, so it is. Good spot. Thank you very much. Skulga, nice spot. It's a battle cruiser called the Fast Battleship. That is extremely confusing, and uh, that that's what threw me. Okay, it's a battle cruiser hull. Well, that makes some sort of sense, I guess. Anyway, ignore them a bit in the middle of the video. <laughs> Welcome to the new Fast Battleship, available for <laughs> Russia, Spain, Italy, and Austria from 1935 onwards. Right. Let's have a look at the towers. Okay, so the towers look like ones we've seen before. They look very similar to existing towers. Okay. Um, or at least they do with Austria-Hungary. So, stat-wise, I'm going to go with this one. It's uh, almost as good for pff, significantly less weight. Like 750 tons, something like that. Uh, rear towers. Ooh. Okay, you've got the uh, this abomination. And this one. <laughs> I don't want to use those. Um, we've got the tall towers again. And we have the light tower. So let's go with the light tower. So far, it doesn't look too bad. Let's give me shades of the Russian... Battle cruiser, I did. Interesting. Um, engines. Let's go with diesels, diesel twos, because uh, this these apparently have been completely rebalanced. So what do they do? Plus seventy five percent funnel capacity. So that's kind of like uh, one of the boilers worked in. Minus twenty percent engine weight, which is pretty nice. Minus a hundred percent boiler weight. Nice. Uh, fuel stowage reduction. That was there before. Okay, so basically, okay, so boilers get com just completely greyed out, and you have a choice of semi-oil or the various oils. Okay, that makes sense. It's the first diesel ship I'm going to try and build. 92 smoke interference. That's, that's a lot, but annoyingly... To get, yeah, I can either have a lot of smoke interference or none. Uh, so this is not going to be a particularly fast 
fast battleship if I use diesels. Um, so if I use diesels, this thing can get up to, again, without causing smoke problems, 27 knots, which actually historically is not that bad. Um, so let's go with that. Uh, if I went, just for comparison, if I did go geared steam turbines, I can easily get to that speed. Um, balanced boilers will let me go at 29, pretty much. Now I'll force the boilers. Uh, just this, just purely for my own interest. I could get up to 30. So I think 27 is fine. All right. Uh. <laughs> uh, dearie me, chat. Right. Um. Okay. Gun wise, this is nineteen. Yeah, six. It's going to be sixteens again. Just wondering. Oh, this is a free barbette. Back here, this can fit a sixteen-inch gun. Oh well. Okay. Why not? Why not fit a sixteen-inch gun on there? And they fit beautifully on the new medium barbette. Uh, I've got a bit of four offset going here. Wonder if I can move the towers a little bit. Oh, I've got a four weight offset. That's fine. That's fine. There's loads of room back here. Ah, but not. Oh, do you know what this ship wants? I know what this ship wants to have. A Q turret. Haven't done one of those in a while. Um. Little bit of an aft weight offset now. I'll do. There we go. <laughs> Why not have a Q turret? Right. What about secondaries? Uh, any amusing places to put secondary? Really? <laughs> uh, no. This one is new. Sand above it for small guns and short above it. For secondaries. Interesting. Might be able to get some interesting super firing arrangements with those. Let's, um, let's have a look. Can we fit five inch guns somewhere on the superstructure? No. Okay. Fours. Nope. Threes. Yeah, just there. Okay, this is not a. Uh, medium caliber gun friendly hull um, one thing I could do instead of the Q turret 16 inch um, is I could mount some sort of secondary battery in here That one is so cute. Look at it. That is that's a just a cute little gun. Cute little barbette gun. Uh cute little barbette for guns. Uh secondaries. Let's go. Sixteen and sixes seems to work quite well. Cause yeah, you can do things like You can. You can do things like this. Maybe fit three guns in there. That'd be that'd be kind of cool. Mm, no, not quite. Oh yes, I can. There we go. Looks a bit weird, <laughs> but yeah, I can fit. They all have pretty good firing arcs as well. Fit three six-inch guns, kind of squeezed in the middle there, to give us a little bit of uh, secondary firepower. 
Uh, might be able to get one firing over the uh, B turret here as well. Um, you know, tall? Probably go with a standard. Can do it with standard, although now this turret is complaining. Ugh. Because you got stuck to the barbet, you silly sausage. There we go. Hmm. Uh, so Russian super battleships get a funnel that increase spotting range. Yeah, the uh, German, the new German cruisers have something very similar. Um, a funnel that increases spotting range and also has a radio on it, so it buffs communications range, which is very interesting. Anyway, interesting secondary layout. A little bit of four weight offset. Try and balance that out. There we go. All right. Um... Let's get a turbo drive. Maximum bulkheads. Obviously, I don't care about range for these particular videos. I'm noticing I've got a lot of displacement left as well. Like, a lot. <laughs> Let's go with sonar. Why not? Uh, flash flash chance is currently 8%. High TNT, it drops to 4 Four. That's acceptable. Water loaders, advanced hydraulics. Still have masses of weight left. Goodness me. Um, well, I guess it's armoring time. Uh, let's go for a 20, 10, um, 8, 4, 20, Four, no, eight. Um, eight. Twenty. Let's get Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to fit all that armor on. Okay. Um, well, that's that's a well armored chip. What about ten inches on the secondary guns? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Um, a little bit more deck armor then? Yeah, 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 sure. Why not? 10 inches of deck armor. N nearly. <sighs> Crumbs. This thing is. This thing is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good. What? Who? Uh. Oh. My good. <laughs> Yeah, all right, supposedly it's, uh, and this really is a, I mean, it's not super fast, but it, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's more battleship than it is battle cruiser, if you ask me. Um, what's the, <laughs> what's the German for, just like, <laughs> what is the German for, um, brick? Is it going to be something, something? Boring like brick, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Backstein. Backstein. Call it a Backstein. Why not? Uh, actually, you know, it's a steel brick in German. Good old translate. You can blame that if uh, this is wrong, German speakers. Oh, it has an actual word. Yes, perfect. Stalziegel. Awesome. All right, chat, you can tell me if that's not what I think it is. <laughs> but uh, I think that means kind of steel brick. That's what Google tells me anyway. You live on an island, Grumpy Finn. That's cool. I mean, technically I do too, but it's a pretty big island. Yes, yes, all this will go on YouTube. Don't don't you worry. Name is right. Awesome. Thank you, Skulga. <laughs> Uh, 
it's taken a while to build the ships. Uh, don't we all live on islands, technically? Um, y yeah, but if, if, if your island's the size of a continent, then <laughs> it doesn't doesn't quite work. 26 hectares. That's that's pretty that's pretty small. That's that's very cool. That's very cool. Okay, United States has brought something that looks pretty good actually. Uh, we'll see how she fares. <laughs> uh, against this, whatever this is. Hmm. No, it had. Oops, a daisy. It has certain something about it. <laughs> Shell bounces off. Definitely has something about it. I don't think it's the most handsome ship ever. But, um. I guess it gets the job done. Well, we'll see if it gets the job done. Let's go and have a look at the Yanks. Standard. Oh, those are big guns. Oh my goodness. That looks decent though. Apart from this gun, that's a bit weird. <laughs> but okay. Um, cruiser. Both cruisers look okay. And a destroyer, which. Oh, look! It has those. It has fancy torpedoes on it. Now, I wonder. Now, I know that standards and fasts look like the old models. So, these, I think, might be oxygen torpedoes, because they look like. The ones, the torpedo launches you would find on Japanese destroyers historically. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So. I think with the diesels, basically, you are sacrificing the raw speed for a pretty efficient ship weight-wise, because I think it would fit quite a lot on this hull that I wouldn't normally expect to be able to fit. And the resilience, of course. It does look weird, though. <laughs> this thing, with its funnel at the back. AI doing tactics wise looks like they are holding back with their mm, main ships interesting so this is different from the other times where they've come come in so they may be trying an attack with the destroyer which has fired at me so Try and avoid those torpedoes that are almost certainly coming this way. Chat. <laughs> uh, really me. It's being recorded live on Twitch, if I haven't mentioned that already. Um, same time as all the other Alpha 12 videos, if you are watching this on YouTube. Um, so, uh, yeah, they're getting a little bit uh, saucy. <laughs> in the chat. Come on, give me an ID, please. I want to rate these uh, AI ships. Just try and rage kill that destroyer. Oh, there we go. Oh my. The Fife. Uh, definitely did fire torpedoes at me. I think it just did, actually. Very fast. Maximum bulkhead destroyer. 
That's a nasty little thing. Oxygens? Uh, no, standard torpedo propeller. Oh, okay. They just have that look to them later on, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. Gonna have to mess around with a destroyer or something to late game text, see, see why or when you get the change. <laughs> this isn't even my final form. It's fine. Saucy is a very mild word, I think. And an, and an overstatement <laughs> at the same time. Right. We have the Pennsylvania. Uh, it's just fired at me. Uh, with auction torps? Yeah, auction torps. Which have the same look, so it must be something different. Tech level or something. Salem back here. Uh, a few bulkheads. Uh, it's not bad for a light cruiser. Then we have the Iowa, but not the historical Iowa, because this one has 18 inch guns and minimum bulkheads. Uh, armor is okay, speed is good. Um, light tube powder 18 inch guns. Interesting. This thing will not blow up. Um, probably. <laughs> so check the barbet first. Barbet 4. Uh, reinforced bulkheads 1. Standard ammo. Yeah, this, this thing's going to be uh, tough, I reckon. Okay. Oh yeah, I should be turning because of torpedoes, right? <laughs> Oh, big hit on the Pennsylvania there. Yeah, Pennsylvania's not a bad ship, but um, that armor can't keep out 16-inch guns. Yeah, so far, AI design's really not been too terrible. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> fire, fire, flash fire the next volley. I doubt it somehow. Uh, genuinely, I think the flash fire chance on the Iowa over there is probably pretty low. Uh, the Pennsylvania and the Salem um, are a threat because they're torpedoes, but as long as they keep zigzagging, um, you know, we, we can hit them with the guns pretty easily. But Iowa could be. Uh, a different kettle of fish. Uh, she's going to struggle to hurt us, though. So, at the range we're at, we're at... Sorry. 15 kilometers out. She can go through 14 inches of deck armor. And effective. And I have nearly 20 on the main deck. Belt. 30 inches. And I'm rocking 40 inch effective, so yeah, she's uh, she's not able to really hurt me just now. But she is faster than me by two knots. Hmm. Uh, all kidding aside, this is from Dark Horse. All kidding aside, I want to get the game the price. And the fact it's still an alpha. So, for an alpha game, um, oh my god, <laughs> goodbye Salem. Um, for an alpha game, I think this game is in a really good state. There's hardly any bugs, um, like serious game breaking bugs. There's a lot of fun to be had in the game. Um, it is expensive at, uh, what, $50? But, you know, for an alpha, early access game, I, th I think I think it's in a very playable state. I certainly enjoy it a lot. Um, and uh, it is worth mentioning that you, you, you will get a Steam key um, for the game if you buy the current, current edition. Okay, Iowa taking some flooding there. 
is interesting. Motor flow. Sure anti flood system. Three. Okay. Weird that flooding caused so much hassle for it. See, her armor is is still decent, and yeah, I'm not guaranteed to go through it. So this could be a very interesting slugfest. <laughs> Hello there, Toka Garaga. Just got off work. Good. <laughs> Good for you. Welcome. So, um, in terms of moving, to, I don't know when they're going to move to say it's beta or whatever. The next, so Alpha 12 was released um, because they were hoping to have what they call Core Patch 1 done by now. Um, or they were hoping to have Core Patch 1 done quite soon, but it's not ready yet. That is the beginnings of the campaign. The game will come out on Steam Early Access, which I guess you could call beta. Um, once core patch three has come out, so the game will actually have a campaign, um, a functioning campaign. Obviously, there will still be a lot more to be added to the game after that, um, but that's when the game is going to get a kind of wider, wider release. Oh, Iowa! Oh, you're in trouble. That's a lot of flooding, my friend. Ooh. I'm surprised. I thought the uh, Iowa here would get on top of that flooding quite quickly. I maybe did, was able to turn the sectors red when they were flooded, which means they can't pump the water out. That's what's happening. So if I'm holding her below the waterline, um, I'm turning the sector red, so it'll just flood out. There's nothing the uh, damage control parties on the Iowa can do about it. Ac accuracy is still at 23%, even though they've got a got a bit of a roll going on there. And of course, she's showing her side, so it's you know worse for her. In terms of getting smacked by those 16 inch shells. But I did say that the Iowa would be tough to put down for this. You know, she's not built badly by any means, cost wise, apart from the minimum bulkheads. <laughs> 116 million versus 158.8. So it's not like the. Uh, Stalziegel is uh, cheap by any means. Another hit. Another flooding hit. Another, oh, that might that might sink her. That four, four, just four to the midship section. She does still have engine rooms functioning though, so she can pump the water out. And she is still returning fire. She's flooding everywhere now though, so that's going to be a little bit more tricky. Our own ship suffered pretty light damage, to be honest. Especially, oh, it's taken 51 hits from 18-inch guns so far. Yikes! <laughs> that is a hard ship to put down. The 
damage. And down she goes. Well, uh, there we go. Yeah, the I I Iowa looked good, didn't it? AI actually produced a, a good looking good looking ship. Anyway, there we have the fast battleship available for various nations. That's not a battleship; it's a battle cruiser. Even though I built it like a battleship. Oh my goodness! Anyway, interesting ship, interesting fight. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you're on YouTube, and uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye bye.